I, I can't say anything more important, more impactful than just simply thank you to our, our veterans that went before us. Men and women who served in the military marched into downtown Knoxville for the 96th annual Veterans Day Parade this morning. What a crowd, too, and what a day. This year's parade started with a special event, the first of its kind, and tennis reporter Caitlin Keenahan captured that moment. I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. If you want to talk about life changing, this is what we're doing today. Men and women sworn in at the start of the annual Veterans Day Parade. Just to be in the presence of so many other service members and veterans, it's a little overwhelming, but very exciting. It's something Matilda French heard about all her life. I grew up with both my grandfathers being in the military. One was actually in the Air Force. Her decision to join the Air Force after college made them proud. It's really uh, humbling to kind of see their support throughout this whole process. Jonathan Lloyd also joined after getting his degree. I have a degree in accounting. I do accounting. I don't really like it, honestly. And Space Force has kind of showed up. A way to support his two-year-old daughter. She's going to see what it takes to be a military member. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Ewing says it's a whole new generation of recruits. I mean, we've got bachelor's degrees, some with master's degrees. They're highly educated, highly competent. And a diverse one, too. About 60% are males and about 40% are females, which is great. But it's only possible because of the people that served before them. Lord knows if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. 23 men, 16 women were sworn in to the Air Force at the parade today. Three recruits were sworn in to the Space Force, and all will soon begin their journey in service to our country. We wish them the very best, and thanks to them, our newest veterans.